Good evening, I'm Debbie Iacofoli. And I'm Sunny Friday. And we're bringing you all the news from the Jazz Moody Vanilla Anaheim and El Diablo Senior Complexes. Our goal is to bring you all the news, so we wear many different hats. We do. Tonight's top story would be one that Sherlock Holmes would love to be involved in. Looking for the truth from building management. Mm -hmm. At the El Diablo, their activity center is beautifully decorated with tinsel, light, trees, and Santa Claus. The only problem is, it's July. That's right, Sonny. Angry residents want to know what happened with the money that was allocated for Valentine's Day, uh, Easter, Mother's Day. 4th of July and Groundhog Day. And when management was asked to comment, their only comment was, no comment. Oh, but they sent me this lovely postcard from Hawaii. Well, that was nice. I thought so. Hmm. Well, let's go to our, our story that's coming up, and that's Peggy Muse. She's our on-the-spot reporter. She's at the Jazz Moody with some fun news. Let's go to Peggy now at the Jazz Moody. Hi, I'm Peggy Muse. I'm here at the Jazz Moody Apartments with the winner of the T-shirt competition. Let's see how he won and what it says on his shirt. Oh, real man, you duck there. Cute. What have you got planned next year, Joe? I will be next year I buy these. I win this next year where? I win next year. I let you be on top. Whoa. Uh, back to you, Sonny. I bet he gets lots of dates with that T-shirt. I don't get it. I mean, I don't know why that's funny. Is that stupid? Am I, am I stupid? Am I on day? No, no, go, no, go, go sit, sit down. down. Okay. Now, on a serious note, this news just in from Vanilla Anaheim, a man who wishes to remain anonymous found himself in a very serious situation today. That's right, after taking Cialis, he sat in his bathtub to wait for it to take effect, and then he was unable to get out. The jaws of life had to be used to extricate him, and he's now resting comfortably. When asked why he got into the bathtub, he said, It's right there in the commercial. You take the pill, you get in the bathtub. And now the FDA has said that on future packaging, there will be a disclaimer not to get into the bathtub unless you are strong enough for bathtub activities. And now, breaking news from Miriam. I'm Miriam with breaking news about antiques. If you have a play like this, it will be worth a million dollars, but if you have one broken like this, it doesn't worth a pay. So don't break your stuff. I'm going to get some glue. Thanks, Miriam. Now let's go to Sharon and Rose in the parking lot for traffic news. Okay, I have to tell you what happened to me yesterday. For the 29 I was on my way home from grocery drive. shopping, and I was making a left turn into you the see complex, that school over there? and this now lady is coming right down in the left do? lane turn at me, and I thought nowhere. she was going to hit so me nasty. head on. And and I was so angry at her that I gave her the birdie. I think it's terrible. Maybe we should go back inside now to our weather girl Peggy and find out what the weekend weather has in store for us. Hi, I'm Peggy, your weather girl. Let's see what today's weather looks like. Today has been sunny with 70 degrees. Tomorrow shows a sunny day again and another 70. And guess what? Another sunny day tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Yesterday was sunny, we know that. And the weekend shows that we're going to have a weekend of sunny weather. Actually, we haven't had any rain in the forecast, and we have sunny all the way through October. I don't even know why I have to do this. It doesn't make sense. Oh, what the hell. I like sunny weather. Really? I never would have guessed that, Sunny. But the sad thing is, didn't anybody tell Peggy that it was raining today? 
Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for that weather report, Peggy. Please join us next week for our groundbreaking report on sweateritis, the syndrome that causes ladies to forget their sweaters and clog up lost and founds from here to Cucamonga. And now, a word from our sponsor, Senior Smart Mart, where you can get everything you could possibly want and a whole lot of things you might not need. Well, good night, Debbie. Good night, Sonny. That was pretty good, not to yeah,